moving on to some correspondence or lack thereof. Um, I do have something. You have um, your agenda and you have your consent agenda. And on the back, at the Conservation Commission, or during the Conservation Commission um, discussion last week, we had, it was, I was pointed in the direction to request from Ellen Lavin the names of the funds and the actual balances because last week no one really seemed to know uh, what those balances were. Uh, this second page uh, was what I, I, I talked to Ellen Lavin and asked her for the exact names of the funds and the balances so that we can clarify what the funds have been named and changed to and that is what I received today. So I don't think that that fully answers the question. It raises more. Uh, I mean, we had a, a problem whether it was one account or, or one fund or two funds, and now I see three, and they're all named account, not fund. But mm -hmm. and I never heard of salt marsh account. I don't know what that third one says. Does it say operating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More, more questions. Mm -hmm. So I think. Um, I'm sharing that with you. That's what I received. And we left here thinking there were two. She did say this is how she accounts for it in conservation, but what we were really looking for was the name of the funds. So basically we can follow along the funds, the Warren articles, funds in the budget, funds out of the budget. Um, but for your request last week, that is what I've received so far. On a second piece of correspondence, um, it has been pointed out, or was pointed out, to our newest member, Scott, uh, that his correspondence regarding the um, charts he's been sending out as an information only were inappropriate, and in conflict with RSA 91. I would tell you that that information only, not anything regarding opinion, is just that, information only. And as long as, when we've covered this before, as long as no one responds, no one has an opinion, um, that information only goes out. He made no response on that. He sent it out as a spreadsheet. So I don't want to detract from anybody on this committee who's spending a lot of time creating this information for us and generating it out to us. Madam Chair, uh, first of all, I, you know, I looked at Scott's email and he sent it. I appreciate your work, Scott. Uh, and what I saw was Scott offering zero opinion, and nothing more than delivering historic facts of government numbers available to the public, <coughs> is simply co putting together in a cogent form for us to consume more easily. I cannot imagine anyone would interpret that as a violation of the law to share facts that are open to the public already. Okay. You see an uh, email here from the town manager within the hour of Scott sending this out. <coughs> Less than an hour after Scott sent this out, the town manager is, is telling Scott that his email violates the right to know law. Um, <laughs> there's no basis for that assertion, in my opinion. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to just clarify some things again. All right. <coughs> Information only, documents that, that are sent out. I would prefer that everybody send everything to me first. If it is something that can go out under 91A, we will send it and I'll disseminate it to everyone else. In another situation. If I may reclaim my time, Madam Chair. Um, when I'm done. On another note, there have been some emails that did not go through me for the protocol. Now, the protocol is something that we agreed to. It is not an egregious error. It is just a protocol that we agreed to and that we will stick to. So that would clear an information only, especially in this particular case, with the new member do not consider um, 
in the situation of violating the RSA 91. Michael. <coughs> um, <coughs> I wasn't directly involved with this particular issue, but when someone puts forth the effort of putting together a spreadsheet, as we've seen, and somebody else comes along and criticizes, that presents a problem. I've always worked for open and honest government in this town, always. If anybody disagrees with that approach, they can file it someplace, okay? okay. Thank you. But and I, I'm just saying, though, that when you and live in a glass house, uh -huh. you should not, not throw too many stones. Thank you, Michael. No, true. Sure. Tim? Is it opinion or? Well, according to this email, the only time I'm allowed to express an opinion is at this committee meeting. So right. then, then please allow me to do so. <laughs> <coughs> it is my opinion that Scott did uh, an excellent service uh, to this committee by, by providing that additional data, just as he did in his previous email when he provided us a number of historic, uh, multi-year historic information, all of which are part of government records already open to the public by making them more readily available for us to consume. He has made our job more accurate and easier to do. And I am thankful for Scott doing that. And I hereby make a motion that this committee recognize that Scott's action was not a violation of 91A, but rather was a service to this entire committee. Can I get a second? I'll second that. Discussion on it? Yeah, I, I'd like to say well, I, I, I appreciated Scott's input. I didn't. I didn't see any any implication of a solicitation. I didn't respond back because that would constitute could be seen as constituting a meeting. I took the information. I love information, so people send me information. I assimilate it and reach certain sediments based on that information. I saw that in no way a violation of anything. Yes. Vote by the committee. Opposed? I abstain. I abstain. I didn't read it. I'm not, I can't uh, make a uh, motion. I'm you weren't part of it, Chuck. I understand that. Um, so the abstentions, Phil Bean and Chuck Rage, I'm saying that because a secretary can't always yeah. see the mm -hmm. entire table. We're a big group. And everyone else is in the positive, Jim. Mm -hmm. You too. Thank you. I, I have to say, and I've been here a long time, this committee this year I'm very proud of to a person this has been the most productive involved committee that I've seen for a very long time and I think it, it's almost depressing to discourage those who volunteer to run for offices in this town and spend their time and and you know what Scott I apologize because I know you wanted nothing made of this and you're new and but if there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong. And this is how we need to disseminate our information. Otherwise, it'll all be done in this room, and everybody will be complaining that we're here for five hours again over nothing. Because as we always have done, we've done our business in this room. So on that note, I'm going to end that. And I'm going to move on to a consent agenda. And the reason for the consent agenda is we have a few things, a few questions dangling out there. I'm going to go down the consent agenda, read them, and ask for a vote on this committee. But we're going, I'm going to ask that you approve these, hopefully, and send them off. <coughs> um, One vote on the answered. entire consent agenda, right? Um, I, I think there's... Normally, that's how the Board of Selectmen does it. All right, well... I Isn't that right, Phil? Well, me, citizen? I, I think they do read them. One of the board of selectmen yeah, vote on its consent agenda in its entirety. Tim, I'm I'm more comfortable <coughs> no. one at a time. Oh, they don't. Okay, oh, because do. and I say that because they go out in different directions. However, the theme remains the same. They're questions that to remain time. open. They've been going back and forth through protocol to through the chair, and they're just dangling out there. And you know what? We're get we're we're more than halfway at this point through. The municipal budget, not municipal budget and warrant articles, but we have to start to wrap some of these questions up. So there is no intent other than to fill the holes for the things that are still out there. So I'll read the first one. The budget committee is resolved that a meeting as soon as possible with the DPW director and the budget committee representatives 
at appropriate DPW locations to review operational procedures and asset status as well as informational discussions of any de deficiencies therein. Um, I should, with a period. Thanks, guys. Budget Committee further appoints as its representatives in this matter Jerry Zanoy and Mike Pluff. There is a difference here from the subcommittee. We are appointing them. I'm asking that you appoint them as our representatives. Meeting details shall be initiated and coordinated by Jerry Zanoy directly with the DPW director. I am asking. I move that item. Do I have second. a second? Second. It's open for discussion, Madam Chair. It's open for discussion. Uh, what, it, what at this point is the benefit of a subcommittee? Um, this seems to cert totally circumvent that. This is not a subcommittee. I know, but at the beginning of uh, my term here, we're using the subcommittees <coughs> to establish uh, a, w a means and way to gather more information, and become quote unquote experts in certain fields. How does this differentiate from the subcommittee's responsibilities? Nick, my, my response to you is that we've gone the subcommittee route, all right, on this. And it has been bogged down, it has been canceled, it has become a mess. Sending a representative of the Budget Committee, we are entitled under the RSAs, it is our right to gather information. We're doing, this is a direct link from this to that process. And remember what the end result is. The, between equipment and DPW, we're talking about a $10 million operation. To, and it, and I fully understand that. I just think it, and this is my personal opinion, it kind of nullifies the work that the other subcommittees have done, and I'm not, not speaking on behalf of my subcommittee. No, but we do have another subcommittee that has had a very large effect, has done very well with what it's done. Um, in this area with DPW, I feel the Budget Committee has to have direct access, as by the statutes, and that's what I'm calling for in this article. It's not... Uh, we're asking, I'm asking that we send two former selectmen who've worked long and hard, so we're not just sending anybody. This is just an information gathering so they can come back to us and give us some very sage advice on things that not everybody here may, be, may know. So, is there any other discussion on this? The only issue I have is... Why can't anyone go? I can answer that question if you want me to, Madam Chairman. Huh. Because Jerry Zeno has been in that sewage treatment plant from top to bottom, literally, when I was a selectman. Mm -hmm. He should have got a badge of courage for that. And Mr. Plouf knows vehicles better than anybody at this table. Mm -hmm. Anybody. That includes you, sir. This is not meant to be a tour. There was a tour with Mary Louise Woolsey. This is for fact-finding by what I would give our professionals that have been here, have held office, know what these things are about. They're not going to go in and they're gonna, not going to waste anybody's time. You okay with this, Mike? Sure, are you okay with this? Oh, yeah. All right. Fine. Anybody else before we take a vote? All right. All those in favor? State. Okay. Opposed? Nick? Sonny? Brian? And abstain. Mike? And Phil? I'm sorry, Jim, did you give a yes on that? Yes, I did. Oh, thank you very much. Um, so the motion passes. Can I have all the yeses again? Because I'm just going to say them just in case she didn't get it on camera because it was a split I, vote here. Um, that was affirmative from Jerry, from Chuck, from Tim, Stephen, Eileen, Jim, Mike, and Scott. Thank you. Moving on to the next one. The Budget Committee affirms the request to DRA sent on 10-20-2015 as vital to the Budget Committee's work and wishes to express that timing of this is of the essence in receiving the requested guidance. Budget Committee Chairman shall write a communication to DRA reflecting this affirmation. I'll move the that item. Second. 
There's no brain. I was I was just right. vote on it. Any discussion? What, what is the 1020 letter? I'm sure yeah, that, that was, was a couple of meetings. That ago. was the correspondence that has already been sent to DRA. Was sent from the chair to DRA with some questions that we had. I passed it out to everyone. The problem is, is that DRA has not responded to us yet, and this would be just reaffirming it. But it would go to them now as being voted on by the committee not just the chairman so as the committee we're, we're requesting that mm. All right. tim i'm voting yes okay what were some of the questions i think you remind people what we asked is that beyond the scope of this well she could have finished it we know this isn't asking anything new jerry everybody has a copy of this okay. this isn't asking anything new it's just asking that they respond to us Okay, the questions that we've already asked in that correspondence. Okay. That was the letter on, on um, 1020. So all those in favor? Opposed? Abstentions. One abstention. Select and being. <coughs> okay, third, the budget committee requests from the town manager a detailed explanation of the 2015 actual expenses under the contracted services in the assessing schedule to include description of property at issue, vendors employed for said property, and amount paid or committed to pay for said property. Simple information request. Yeah. Good deal. <coughs> I'll move number three. It's an area of confusion, and rather than go around anymore with it, just making that Second. request. Discussion? No. All those in favor? Opposed? You have opposed? No, you're in favor? You abstain? Okay. Abstentions? Selectman Bean and Brian Lapham. Okay, number four. Budget committee requests from town manager an explanation regarding the appearance of the 2015 employee health insurance being approximately $200,000 under budget. I'll move number four. Second? I'll second. Okay. Jerry. No, Jerry? No, he, we'll see if you can second this. All right, Steve will second. Yeah. Yeah, All I'll right, second any discussion on that one? Again, just clarity. Simple information requests. Okay. All those in favor? Opposed? And you're abstaining. Thank you. <coughs> Selectman Bean abstains. And question five. Budget committee requests the following data on the undesignated fund balance. A, the 2014 audit results on the cash balance and receivable non-cash balance. And B, present data on the cash balance and receivable non-cash balance. I'll move number five. I'll second that. All those in favor? All right, discussion? Oh, okay. Uh, Selectman Bean, you're abstaining? Yes, ma'am. Mm, everybody else says yes. Number six, budget committee requests that the town treasurer appear on the December 1st, 2015 budget committee meeting to review the present fund status in the treasurer's custody, in particular those funds related to the Conservation Commission, as well as any question that may arise concerning the treasurer's activity and budget request. As you know, we had not requested that the treasurer come in this year. But I think based on some information that you have, we <coughs> possibly do have some questions for her. So do I have? I will move that. Okay. I second. Madam Chair, this is, uh, this is basically another no-brainer. But uh, does this mean that you will be making the request directly to the town treasurer? Yes. Okay, great. I'm ready to vote. All those in favor? Opposed? Abstentions? Select and B. Thank you very much.